comics that have been around for 34 years and knowing also that Neil has batted away so many versions and that now that he's in love with with what we've created here it's 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 fantastic hello and welcome to a very special edition of the movie podcast my name is daniel i am one of your hosts today and joining alongside me is the man who puts me to sleep shabazz Hello, you know, Chaz. I'm hello. Yeah, I'm I'm in, I'm glad you didn't call me the Sandman because I feel like oh. then you would have immediately gone to a place of no return. Yeah, I, you know, here's the thing with that. I think that would have. I can't call you that. I, no. I'm not allowed to. Uh, that's not. No. That's not allowed. <laughs> Only, my mom. Only my mom. Only my mom. how are you doing today? You know, I'm doing great. Uh, another day. We're we're out here just just recording. That's what we're doing. We're we're making it a podcast day. We're making it a podcast life. We're we're doing some great things on this show as well, which I know you're going to get into. Uh, we yeah, hit please, some you, you milestones. Start it off. You, you tell us. You want me to you, hit, you want me to talk about this milestone that we just hit? You tell the milestones. Let's do it, Daniel. What what is the number we were trying to hit on Apple Podcasts in terms of reviews? We were trying to hit two hundred five star reviews. What if I told you we've hit 214? I would not believe you. You know, well, then I you would should not check our page bit. because we hit it. And I want to thank everybody for, for, you know, stealing people's phones, going into them and giving us five stars. I really appreciate it. We really appreciate it is what I meant. And it's, it's, it's great. We, we did something that we've been set. We've been setting out to do for so long and, and it, it came, it came and it was such a, it was such a monumental thing for us. So I really, really appreciate it. You know, I, you know, I think for, for all of us and that's on behalf of all of us that we all feel that we're just like, this is something that's part of growing. This is something that we've been wanting to do. And obviously, of course, you know, what's, what's so special about 200 and what's special about is that, you know, we're trying to grow the show to a place that we could be, you know, looked at as, you know, the go-to place for movie reviews, the go-to place for movie commentaries and news and interviews. And but what 200 does for us is that it's going to make us eligible to apply for places like Rotten Tomatoes, for other, you know, critic associations that's going to look at us and be like, hey, 200 reviews and not just that, 200 five-star reviews. We're averaging a five-star review, which is pretty amazing. You you got us there. The listeners, you listening to the show right now have gotten us there. And not just that, we're over. We're almost like at 150 reviews on Spotify. So like what we're able to do here on the show is hugely part to you listening to the show. So thank you for that. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the encouragement. We're not going to stop. And that sounds like a threat. And it is. I'm telling oh. you, we're not going to stop. We're going to keep going. We're threatening them today? We're threatening today? them today. Oh, okay. You know, good. it's we're going to keep going because as always, this is the movie podcast, and you can catch a brand new episode of our show every single Monday. And watch out throughout the week for our, our interviews and reviews and all the latest movies and series. There's some great reviews out right now. If you want to check out our review of DC League of Super Pets, if you want to hear our thoughts on movies like Marcel the Shell with Shoes On, and you know, upcoming we have Prey. We have lots of movies coming out in the end of the month and in August, like Bodies, 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 and Prey, like I said, and and day shift there's lots to look forward to so please make sure you're following us on the at the movie podcast on instagram twitter tiktok and letterbox so you can stay in the know say see exactly what's going on so you don't miss a thing that we're releasing on youtube on podcast feeds where where have you wherever we're, we are everywhere the movie podcast is everywhere you don't want to miss it you could also join our discord and write into the show at hello at the movie podcast.ca and if you're watching this on youtube please make sure you subscribe Ring the notification bell and let us know what you thought of this episode. Let us know what you think of The Sandman. Are you looking forward to it? Because we definitely are. And today on the show, I'm so excited to say that we have some special guests from the show fresh out of their Comic-Con appearance. We get to talk to Boyd Holt, uh, Holdbrook and Vanessa Samunye, uh, who play the Corinthian and Rose Walker on the show. So we're just really lucky and we're just, you know, we're just swimming in special guests right now, as I like to say. I'm just, I, I, I'm liking to say it now. I think I think that's a saying that we have now on the show. I would say yeah. that, yeah. You know, I think The Sandman is a show that has been so... It's been in development hell for so long. Literally hell, because hell's in the show. <laughs> hey. Uh, but, like, it's, it's something that for the last 30-plus years that this comic has been around, they've been wanting to do a show. They've been wanting to do a movie. I know for a long time, Joseph Gordon-Levitt was attached to... Uh, to making a movie it didn't happen and now netflix is here and it's in partnership with warner brothers and 
this show is made and it's coming out August 5th. You'll be able to watch 10 episodes of the show on Netflix. You can binge it the whole weekend and go right through it. We're going to have a review out on August 5th. And, you know, if you're a fan of the series, definitely check it out. And if you're not, I think you're going to you're going to like our review. Definitely check out a review is what I'm saying. Uh, there's lots to look forward to with this show. And I think um, the two, you know, the two actors that we got to speak to today, uh, Van- uh, Vanessa is, is is new on the scene. But I think Boyd Holdenbrook, who, who sorry, Holdbrook, who we just saw on, uh, you know, Vengeance. We know him from Logan and Predator. Uh, and he's going to be in Indiana Jones 5. So he's been someone that we've been seeing for a while. And uh, it's always special when we got to when we get to talk to uh, people from the shows and the movies that we love. Shay, how are you feeling right now? I mean, these these guys are great. Um, you know, Vanessa, you can tell that she's excited. She's excited to be a part of this world. This is going to open yeah. up such a great door for her. Uh, I'm excited to see what she's going to be doing next. Maybe something with Netflix. I feel like Netflix does like to keep a lot of their people just pumping out more stuff and, and i love yeah, that it kind of keeps the that job security there exactly yeah. that netflix family and boyd is boyd is always that secret sauce that we kind of get in the movie well we'll be watching something we'll be like wait wait we know him we know him from somewhere right. oh yeah he's from logan he's from predator he's from this he's yeah. from that so to now know that he's going to be in indiana jones is phenomenal and hey maybe we got a little tease about indiana jones i don't know did we maybe you'll have to listen to this interview to find out so without further ado please welcome boyd holbrook and vanessa Samunye. To the movie podcast. Hey Boyd, hey Vanessa, I'm Daniel. And I'm Shabazz. How are you? Hey guys, nice to see you all. Thank you for sharing your time with us first and foremost on the movie podcast. I just want to say it's rare that a show gets its hooks into us so deeply this quick. And I and I think we binge the entire show in the first weekend. So I just want to say it's fantastic. You are all fantastic in it. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to know what did you what excited both of you most about uh, joining the Sandman world? I think you knew. The project was going to be massive. Uh, I've done a show with with Netflix before and just saw how what an expansion they have over the globe. I mean, Netflix um, is in all continents, right? Um, and so I I was aware of, of of what this could be, and especially combined with the epic um, comics that have been around for 34 years and knowing also that Neil has batted away so many versions and that now that he's in love with with what we've created here it's 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 fantastic how about for yourself Vanessa I have forgotten the question could you please (laughs) (laughs) no to what what excited you most about joining the the Sandman world um, yeah, I think just being able to be a part of it, being able to be a part of such a um, a magnificent property, I think that's honestly just it. You know, from the moment I found out what it was going to be about, um, even before I saw the scale of um, what the TV show would be, just seeing, um, just learning about the Sandman itself, it was just like, yeah, of course I would love to do this. I'd love to jump into it. And I'm, I did the audition um, and I didn't try, I tried not to think too much about it because obviously, you know, you don't want to be too invested, you know, if you get let down, but it's just the kind of thing. And the quality of the script was great from the get go. Um, I didn't get the full script when I auditioned, I got sides and, you know, I only had like maybe one, two pages, but just, when I you know it was so easy to play um play off of and it's like wow you know this is quality and I of course I just wanted to be in it that's wonderful it's great now Boyd you played Corinthian who was a character that carries himself with a very confident and seductive swagger what was the process like for you to figure out who he was and how you wanted to portray him I you know I'm not I'm um I don't feel like I have a lot of swag in 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 my (laughs) day-to-day (laughs) um so yeah that's all something i think that's so astonishing about acting that you get to embody these characters that have different movements have different speech and dialect and mannerisms and the amount of focus that you have to have to to keep that up and to never drop that um yeah and we just broke down a character that um, seemed to me as that I interpreted that was a, a connoisseur of life uh, who's been around for all these ages of just running amok in the, in the 
in the waking world who, who had already consumed all the low hanging fruit. And so now is um, very particular about what he um, cherry picks in life. For sure. And you, you've, you've played some iconic characters in the last couple of films. Like we've seen you in Predator, in Logan, and just recently we watched you in Vengeance. What do you look for in each character that you're like, I want to try to tackle this this time? Um, well, I, I, I really want to challenge myself. So I, I, I look for something that's entirely foreign to me because I, selfishly, that's something that I can go off and, and learn a great deal amount of in a very short period of time and, and try to transform into this character. That's uh, a, that's a challenge for me. Um, and I think that just keeps me really invested and in, in motivated being an actor. And, um, and this gets me up and, and, I'd love to do um, to get up and go to work every day. Awesome. Right. And, you, and, you, and you think you see that, especially in all the characters that you play, you have such great presence on screen and it's, it's very true. Anytime Corinthian showed up in this show. So just thank you for that. Um, Vanessa, for yourself, Rose and Morpheus have a very interesting relationship. They meet in a very interesting way. Uh, what did you love most about exploring that dynamic with Morpheus and Rose? Um, I think I think it was just fun. I was happy that we were able to expand that uh, relationship more than, because in the comics it isn't, they don't have, um, you know, much of a relationship in the comics. You know, they met like once when he, you know, popped, when she actually popped into, I don't know actually, but anyway, they met in a dream <laughs> in the comics. And um I I, were, I was really happy that I was able to explore that because just playing with the different personalities, you know, Rose is, um, I suppose you could say as a discoverer or an explorer, she is discovering the dreaming. She's discovering all of these things and her own, you know, um, I wouldn't necessarily say abilities, but, you know, these powers within her and um, Morpheus, you know, this, this, um, just this age old, being you know who has been around for so long and you know getting you know having my character meet him that was really nice and um they do have a change and an effect on each other and it was nice to explore that as well you know Morpheus you know I haven't seen the finished product so I can only go off of the scripts and um the scenes that we did but you know it seemed like you know in the beginning he's like you know I've got a handle on it. I've got a handle on it. And then she suddenly like pops up in his throne right. room and it's just like, oh, dang, I didn't, she didn't, no one expected, you know, right. Rose to just like go through and um, the acceleration of, you know, what the vortex was doing. Um, so I think, you know, there was definitely care there from what, you know, I remember. And it was nice to see that. It was nice to see some kind of, um, kind of maybe softening of, you know, this, usually stoic tries to be detached from humanity being definitely. you def yeah you definitely see that and i think rose definitely brings that to uh to morpheus and i think you're in for a big treat when you eventually do get to to see the finished product for sure thank you <laughs> neil gaiman was involved with the series every step of the way which isn't always the case with most comic book creators so for both of you what was it like working with neil through all the stages of production um yeah for um i'm not sure too much about boyd but i think it was the same we didn't really we were working more or i was working more with alan um and i only recently i think maybe in may or april that's when i was able to formally meet neil and talk um to him so he was definitely he was very present um but he was very present i think just like in terms of orchestrating how you know everything would go right. and i spoke more about alan but obviously if alan had any notes from neil that would definitely be be, mm -hmm. be passed on and stuff um so i mean it was just nice to know that he gave his blessing and he was happy and he was there and knowing that you know the author the creator of um the comics um was there to give it his blessing and make right. sure that it was something that he liked he loved you know and that he was ready to put out to the world and that i i was happy that we i knew that we were doing a good job mm -hmm. 
And yeah. I feel like it would have been a little too much if if Neil Gaiman was on set every day. Yeah, definitely. It would it would it would have just and thankfully he's 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 a smart man and he I think he identified that it would just be a lot of pressure. Right, to, right. To constantly a baby. Yeah. So we had, you know, the wonderful Alan Heinberg there, our showrunner, to 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 be that. And uh Neil was was very much involved, but kind of the man behind the curtain that was making sure everything was going okay and just giving everybody their space to right. to bring these characters to life. And obviously there was lots of trust there with you guys and you guys all did phenomenal. I know really quickly, uh, you get to re- uh, boy, you get to reteam with James Mangold next year with Indiana Jones 5. And is there anything you're allowed to say about that yet? So are you looking forward to that, I'm a bet? Um, yeah, I, I think that I can say I, I, I'm in Los Angeles now and I, I got to see Jim and pass by the studio yesterday and I got to see about 30 minutes of the film and um, I know people are going to be <laughs> satisfied with it. Jim, Jim just can't make a bad movie. It's, it's incredible. He's incredible and um, it's fast and it's badass. We can't wait. Uh, Vanessa Boyd, thank you both so much for your time. We love the show. We're so excited for audience to get to check it out next week. We wish you all the best and we can't wait to see what you both do next. So thank you so much. Thanks thank for the time, guys. Much. Thank you. Take care, guys. Welcome back from the land of the dreaming, a.k.a. our... Uh our interview with Boyd and Vanessa Shea felt like a dream. How are you feeling right now? We got a, we got a nice little scoop there at the very end about Indiana Jones five, not to overshadow the brilliance, which will be the Sandman show. Uh, but we did get a little, a little sneak peek. This is the most I think I've heard about Indiana Jones five in a long time. Yeah. So it was, uh, made me excited. Yeah, no, it, it got me pumped too. I mean, we're, we're big Indiana Jones fans here. And now knowing that Boyd is going to be part of that world, especially with James Mangold at the helm of this movie, yeah, that's fantastic. But but about the Sandman, it, it, you could tell that they have a love for the lore of Sandman. They yeah. have a love for the comics. So to see what they were able to bring to the show and have them talk so passionately about it, I think is what really got me excited. So I, it was nice to just hear from them about their love for being a part of this. It was also it was it's always interesting. They like sometimes you, we kind of forget that. They're so busy doing all these circuits and and press and Comic Con that even they haven't gotten a chance to watch their own show. Yeah, and here we are, like we finished it and it was great. We can't wait for you to see it though. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was funny. She's like, yeah, I haven't, when Vanessa was like, yeah, I haven't seen the final product. I'm like, oh, should I should I not say no spoilers, spoilers for you? <laughs> you were there though. <laughs> you were there. Uh, no, it's it's awesome. And honestly, you like fans of the Sandman and fans of just great like just sci-fi and like like high fantasy shows i think you're in for a treat with this one and i i definitely implore you to check out our review on august 5th and check out the sandman on august 5th on netflix because there's a lot happening on august 5th actually this year which we have busy, luck. busy we day. have uh prey dropping as well too that day and uh you know there's lots happening and we'll have our reviews we'll have our interviews for everything so please don't miss it. And I want to say thank you to our friends at Netflix Canada for connecting us with Boyd and Vanessa. Uh, we hope to have a lot more special guests coming your way. So stay tuned for all of that. Now, as always, you can catch a brand new episode of the movie podcast every single Monday. And watch out throughout the week for our interviews and reviews and all the latest movies and series. Make sure you're following us on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Letterbox at the Movie Podcast. Join our Discord and write to our show at hello at the moviepodcast.ca. If you're watching this on YouTube, please make sure you subscribe, ring the notification bell, and let you know what you're looking forward to. There is lots to. And as Shay said at the top of the show, thank you so much again for getting us over 200 five star reviews on Apple Podcasts. We're not stopping there. Like I said, this is a threat. We're going to keep going. We have lots more episodes coming your way, and it's only going to get crazier with Tiff coming up, D23 and lots more. There's lots to look forward to this year. So please make sure you hang out with us. That was this time with the movie podcast and we'll see you next.